Hey everyone, this is a 10 win game I got. Uh, I think it was actually like two in a row, but this one was the only interesting one, so I'm just gonna show this one. I might show the other one later, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna show the entire game because I edited this one a little bit differently. I try to <laughs> cut out a lot of in between time, so things might look a little choppy. So if you're not into that, let me know. But I'm trying it out because I think shorter videos are generally better. I mean, at least for me it's easier to watch when I don't have to wait for people to think. And I don't know, I guess also better watch time percentage might help me, so yeah. If you don't like it, sorry, you're probably just gonna have to deal with it this video, but yeah. I get early clownfish. I think in the beginning, like rounds one and two, trying to get three of the same animal is really good because then when you level them up on tier two, you find a tier three animal and that could be pretty good, especially if it's like a good tier three. Like clownfish here. Clownfish is definitely one of my favorite things to find because it just works so well with anything. <laughs> you just have to level something up and then yeah, it's instantly like really good stats. Emperor Tamarin again. Emperor Tamarin, I'll go for it if I have a clownfish because then it might be pretty good. Here I'm gonna try and broccoli one so that when I combine them, the stats are high. And yeah, I have a 913 already. And those stats can be transferred on pretty much any shop animal I want. Yeah, my team kind of dies to that lynx parrot, but that's all right. Find a rooster, and I decide I'm just going to put the stats on the rooster because rooster is pretty good, especially if you could get it leveled up and with high attack. And since the tamarind gave it free stats, it's like really good. Probably one of the best things you could find and put uh, good stats onto because yeah it just summons good animals and my team got demolished by those uh by the microbe hedgehog team but yeah level two clownfish buffs itself really good and then i get a level two rooster have to sell something for it but i think it's worth it that bluebird is also sometimes gonna be buffing the rooster which is nice another Hedgehog and Blowfish team wipes out my team because, yeah, Rooster suffers from hedgehogs, but that's okay. You get a Lynx. I think Lynx is like a really good sniper, especially because the level 2 ability hits multiple uh, enemies instead of, what's it called, doing more damage. So I think that's good. I got level 3 Rooster. I'm pretty sure in my last video, I ended up putting giraffe, a level two giraffe in the second spot. So it was only buffing one thing. And yeah, I think this is a lot worse. I ended up putting the level three rooster in the front. There it goes like two uh, chicks that could have won me that round, but I guess I can't complain if I draw, but yeah, sorry, you had to experience that. It hurt me probably just as much as it hurts you. I find hammerhead sharks. And I actually have a level 3 animal, or a pet, for to work on. Stupid butterfly team, but that's alright. You just have to deal with the butterfly teams. I get Hammerhead Shark level 2, so now I'm going to be getting plus 6 gold at the start of my turn. And then I find a tiger, so I'm just going to put the tiger with the rooster. So that now I get 4 chicks when it dies. And yeah, it's like 45, 39. I mean, the health doesn't really matter, but 45 attack is going to be really good. I mean, yeah, I guess the rooster doesn't even die there, but if it did die, I would have had four more, like, 20 attack pets. I got cheetah because with the cat, I think I could end up scaling the cheetah pretty fast. And even though I'm at one heart, I think my team's good enough to where I could put some new animals on my team and not lose yeah <laughs> see I had so much more fuel after my rooster died I get a pepper on my high attack low health unit and then yeah trying to get my cat and leopards to level 3 I could have gotten another hammerhead shark but 
I think it would have been too hard to get it leveled up for not that much worth. And yeah, the rooster is just so good when you get it uh, buffed up and at a high level. I saw the tiger because I don't think that one extra rooster chick is really worth it. I think another leopard would be better. And then yeah, I'm pretty close to a level 3 cat. That summoning team just got destroyed because of my snipes. I'd love to see that. One of the best feelings in my opinion. Just seeing turkeys and vultures get destroyed. Shrimp is really good with the leopards because yeah, plus 9 attack and you could choose what it goes on. I get a tiger for that cheetah because, or leopard, because uh, it's going to be better than having them separate. That guy had a pretty cool late game team, a lot of hammerheads. Sadly, I beat him, but um, yeah, I feel like that could have been good, but I think he died off that round. I'm not sure. I don't know how matchmaking works. I don't know if it puts you against people with the same amount of hearts or not, but... Maybe not, it's probably only wins in what round you're on, but yeah, there I go again, putting my level 3 rooster in the front, so, uh, okay, I guess it wasn't me that time, it was just a uh, push mechanics, but yeah, still sad to see. Get a broccoli for that reindeer, because high health is going to be good, because he gets melon armor, and yeah, that melon armor lets it survive, and then I win. This pack, I think, is pretty good. It's pretty fun, too, so I think it's worth a try. You can make some changes. And, yeah, I got two wins in a row with this pack, so interpret that as you will. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a nice day.